Hey guys, this is Vril, continuing our Crusader Kings 2 playthrough as Ivar the Boneless. So we're going to declare war on a few counties here, in the county of Durham, the county of Westmoreland, the county of Arran, and actually Scotland for the county of Fief. And the reason we're going to do that is because we've got a ton of prestige to use, and we're actually just about to die, and I want to take as much land for my two sons as we can. We're going to be splitting this up anyway, so... Barad, who's my, not my heir, is going to take a few counties in Northumberland and down here in, is this, yeah, that's East Anglia, and one province here in Scotland, though I think if we take over a few of these, we might get him to take, like, Durham instead, so that would be good. I want to keep all the provinces we can in Scotland. So let's go ahead and declare war on the Kingdom of Scotland first, actually the Queen Malmor of Scotland. And that's a conquest of Fief, conquest of Durham. We actually had a de jure claim on there because we have that Northumbria title, the duchy. And the conquest of Westmoreland. And the conquest of Arran. So we're getting just doing all we can as we have these tribal armies. And that should be good. We're doing conquest because... That's just pretty good to do. Um, good for our moral authority for the religion here. So we're going to send, I think, let's see here. This guy's only has 75. Let's actually just move our army here over to him. And we'll go ahead and move this army here, this army here, and I'm thinking that Scotland is going to have some actual forces, so let's actually put our good leaders here. Actually, I only need one leader for all of these, actually, because they're just like one gigantic stack in the middle. So, yeah, we should be able to actually have leaders on all of these. I was thinking that we were not going to be able to do that, but actually we are, we are so that's good. One we really have to worry about, although they do have 1,100 here, so I guess we have to deal with a little bit on all of these fronts, except for this one. But yeah, this this should be fun, all these wars going on at the same time, and I'm just doing that because, like I said, I could die at any moment, I don't want to lose all that prestige. Okay, well... I'm going ahead and sieging here. Let's make sure he doesn't do that, though. We want to kill all these guys off with our Evar here. Let me go ahead and bump up the speed. Yeah, so we completely killed all those guys. And killed all those guys. And let's see what we can do here. No, he's not sieging. They didn't siege anything yet. Okay, so then we'll just go take out this army, and then we'll go ahead and siege everything that we can. So, we've gathered the followers. We were in the middle of a hunt for the White Stag, which, if you guys were following in the last episode, I think I've never actually completed that successfully, and we haven't certainly not completed it. We've done it at least once. We might have done it twice so far, so this would be the second or third time. We wiped out those armies completely. We'll go ahead and just siege these out, and we spend weeks, and again, we're, this is a pointless endeavor, so I won't give up, but this will just keep going on and on. So we're up to quite a bit war of war score on all these. Just sieging the wrong province here. Let's go ahead and move these guys to Fief. Although, we probably need to take out this 35 stack because they're just going to end up sieging all that they can, even though we've only got... We don't have much of anything there, but there's... Uh, these guys aren't rebuilding, although it actually is up to 4 now, surprisingly enough. Let's go ahead and take out this 14 stack. They're able to siege, and actually we'll go up here and take out this stack up here. And, oh, that's at Raiders, so never mind. They can They can do that all they want. Okay, so we are up to 100% here. Conquest of Aaron. 
Let's enforce our demands with this guy. And we will, let's see here, we've got a temple that we need to give out. Give that out to an, a Germanic ruler. And instead of having this guy move, we'll have this guy chase after these little stacks. So my grandson Ivar has his nose in the scriptures. Let's I think the zealous trait. I'd say that's good to have. Yeah, I would say so. I don't care what other people in their faith think of me. So my Chancellor Bjorn has offered to go through our newly uh, acquired domains. Um, I don't think I want you to do that, so stop bothering me about this nonsense. <laughs> so I'll say no thanks, I'm fine for now. I, I, he might, I might want him to bother me with that nonsense at some point in time. Okay. So Gita is also offered. No, I'm fine. So again, the guy from uh, Nantes is actually taking over some the is it the duchy or just the county county of Devon. He lost the Nantes area. Okay, well, we're just gonna be sieging all this stuff down, and luckily we've got an extra army here to deal with these small stacks all around here. Which is always a little bit annoying, especially when we've only got uh, the garrison just won't go up. I'm not again not sure why that is, but might have something to do with all this war we're doing. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, we finished off here in it's the Earl Erdolf of Durham. Enforce our demands, and unfortunately he becomes Erdolf Doddington. No longer the Earl. So yeah, that's that's quite a few. Let's go ahead and give this out. St. Cuthbert. So let's double check now that I've actually got that. The... Okay. Titles lost in succession. I don't know why that was going to that guy, but let's, let's finish off this war and then we'll see what we've got. Let's take this army up here and we'll go ahead and siege Call to arms from Sigurd. So he's got a holy war. So how is Sweden doing? Sweden's doing well. I'm going to decline this uh, civil war because I know it's bad for his prestige, but if Bjorn could... I don't know if Bjorn is actually still leading here. It's actually... Yeah, Harold Fairhair. He's done it. <laughs> he's the one that will be able to possibly reform the faith. If he can do that, we'll be in pretty good shape. There were all of our all of our faith rests on him, on his capable hands. Okay, so we finished off Scotland here. Force our demands. They were doing pretty well, so chieftain of fief. And, of course, here in Westmoreland as well. Okay, well, that was good. Unfortunately, this all these armies are going to disappear. So I'm just thinking here, was, uh, he... Unfortunately, does not have everything. What he needs is... The, uh... This county here, and actually, let me look at his piety here. He's got the piety to do it, so he's only 34. He can't subjugate anybody more, uh, anybody else, I suspect. But uh, yeah, that's really, really good. So who else should we declare war on <laughs> now that we're done with this? Uh, we do need to give out these titles, though, too. So th those wars went really, really quickly because we had a large army. So we will... Accidentally clicked on that there, so let me just double check. So this temple here, gave that one out. Yeah, we did give that one out. Okay. St. Andrew's Temple. Okay, is there anything else that's... Everything's a county capital that we're holding. I really should give some of these out, although... Don't really want to. So, okay, so the Jarldom of Northumberland. 
the chiefdom of Northumberland. This is all going to Barad. This is what we're going to lose. So he's still going to get the Strathern. So that's a bummer. And the Fief. So really splitting this up. Let's see if we can take any more of like Hawis here. The And maybe then we would... He's got allies. Who does he have as an ally? Then maybe he would take some of these. So like Essex here, and who who owns Middlesex? Is this a Norse? Yeah, Ragnar? It's my nephew. Holds Middlesex. So this, this, uh, England is really getting screwed up here. That's good. Good for us. So actually, speaking of all that, what am I doing? I'm scheming in Lothian. I'm spreading the religion in Lothian. Building legend? Not sure if I really need to do that. Let's go ahead and actually try to culture Lothian as well. Got claims to fabricate. We certainly don't need to do that. I, I would just like to see Scotland break up. This guy's still in hiding for the longest time. So if we tried to assassinate her before, did not work. And just need a Scotland to break up so we can declare war on individual provinces. So complaining about his dark cell. Let's see if we can ransom anybody. One guy, one little girl here, ten gold. Send this guy to the Oubliette. We can create our own kingdom. I'm not going to do that though. I don't want to use any of that kind of stuff. So, we have way too many titles. How's our opinion doing, though? I think our opinion's probably fine. Yeah, everybody other than the Catholics like us. Let's see if we can kill this guy. It's pretty good plot power. He's over in Suffolk. So, New Bird has arrived uh, to Mew and New Book of Writing Poetry in the Library, so. Take her out for a hunt, or I should start reading a book. I think I should start reading a book. I'm, I'm a little old for going out on the hunt. So, poetry book is really inspiring. I gain plus one diplomacy. Okay, so they're going to approve the plan. That was pretty quick, but again, he was 100%. Is this, is this the guy that we're trying to assassinate here? I think he is. Yeah, I bet you want uh, independence faction. So we've gained the trait, the poet. Interesting. Okay. Ivar the Boneless, the <laughs> the poet. Interesting. So unfortunately, the scapegoat we had arranged take the blame, spilled my name. So that's good, but bad. Who else doesn't like me? This, uh, the son of that guy. This guy's has really low intrigue. Let's see if we can kill him, too. Get rid of all these Catholics. So, great news. Thorfinn has gathered a great host of raiders lusting for plunder. Okay, yeah, let's actually just head on up to... So we can't merge these guys. Why can't I, can we not merge these guys? Hmm. I'm not sure why that is. Is this guy? Let me just move him away. It's not really a large group of raiders, if you ask me. So why can't we even tell him to raid? I'm not sure. That's weird. Not Unit is not forced to raid. Isn't he supposed to be raiding? Oh, okay, I see what I see what they're saying. He only is a raider. I think so. Tells how many times I've raided with uh, this recently. Yeah, we are raiding now, so that's good. 
it was actually the other army that was not set to raid, so that's why we could not merge them up. So we're just going to try to take all the money we can from this, from Scotland, and then uh, that'll be good. Bankrupt them, make them really angry at their leader. So apparently we're going to do a manure explosion against that guy. The classic manure explosion. So, and success, the manure explosion worked. So, succeeded in the plot to kill Elgar, I think was his name. And this guy is only 11 years old. He's got a brother, we're gonna have to kill a bunch of these guys to get them... <laughs> to get them out, to be out of the, their family out of this whole deal, so... Oswald's son, that's... I don't know, is that the guy I took it from in the first place? So... And Mercy, all these places are really falling down. Jorvik just can't attack these guys quick enough because we have these truce timers and everything like that. So let me do what I was just going to do, which was to look in my own court and kill these guys that have really negative opinion of me. Yeah, so... That'll work, and we siege the Gowrie, we've got seven. Should get a little bit more when we siege the, the bishopric here. That should go well. Got a bunch of titles that we could create. I'm going to wait to do any of that until after, after I die, I think. I think that'd be the best way to do it. I do wonder if I should take this from our friend Hostine of Devon. He's, I mean, he's Norse, so it'd be like the first time I've declared war on a Norse guy. I could do subjugation. I think I'm gonna do that. Would give us another province in Scotland. He should stay under my rule, although he's probably would be difficult to deal with if he wants to get independence. So let's let's just think here. I wanted to look at de jure here. So we can't usurp this title again, but we've got we've got most of Scotland. If we could just get a little bit more, take it all. Okay, so I think they ratted me out of my plan to kill that guy. Okay, so I didn't pay attention, but how much did we take there? I didn't wasn't paying attention. So we raided that. Where else can we raid? These guys are probably trying to muster up an army to deal with me. Uh, so we're going to approve the plan to die by poison. Yeah, so they, they don't have enough, so success, he died. He does not know the name of his killer, and I will think I will so celebrate with beer. Okay, well, how old are we? 67 years old. Could die at any moment. When we get done raiding, we'll try to two subjugate our friend here. And I don't think we can offer vassalization. Maybe. No, he's not going to accept it. I mean, we're not really much larger than him, so... I mean, we are, but in terms of, like, duchies and... He, he is a... actually, he's just a county holder. But most of his provinces are outside of our domain. And we just need to spread the religion as much as we can. We've got really good moral authority. Now if... We just need Harold Fairhair to deal with Sigurd here. It's good they're not brothers or anything like that. Or if we could... Do some sort of... This guy's gonna have so many kids. That that won't be fun for uh, Gavilkind. Let's see if we can arrange a betrothal between Ivar, who's 15, and somebody here, like Fairhair. He's just a Jarl? Okay. Make your kingdom, man. Okay, so this is 12 years old. 
Let's see if we can betroth between these and our son Ivar. I didn't really look at her statistics, but humble, just, gluttonous. She's she's oh that's that's me actually. Let's see, all these are. So she's honest, cynical, and kind. <laughs> cynical and honest kind of goes together, doesn't it? So, again, let's, that was the only, he's got a sister? Okay, well, we'll just go ahead, or that wasn't a sister, what, what, what was that? Yeah, it was a sibling, okay. Yeah, he is a young guy after all, so. All right, let's arrange this betrothal. We'll take a little while, but Ivar, our grandson, will get married. And maybe that will help us with some sort of alliance in the future, getting our families together. Actually, a little bit of action going on over here in Ireland. So we've sieged out both of these. We're gonna move this army down. I wonder how many... He's got 3,000. That's surprising for this little guy here. It's because he's got huge marshal. It's really good. He wants to become the King of Wales. Have at it. Kind of don't want to attack him because of that. Is there anything else? So... Yeah, I think we'll just go back to raiding. I don't want to attack him. I want him to become the King of Wales. If we could do something to help him with that, that would be great, but I don't think that's... So these guys are trying to raid our friend over here. We'll raid them while he's doing that. So Ross is trying to raid these guys, so... These guys think that they can get an independence faction going, but they... Interesting that our friend wants to help them out. This guy is Catholic, and the Norse guy's helping him. This guy was always our friend. Well, let's see. Full independence for Suffolk. No. No, I will not be blackmailed. So we're going to <laughs> go to war for this. But it does look like we're out of time for this episode, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.